Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm just going to show you a video today. Um, I'm replacing, well, not replacing, I'm adding RAM to my my PC that I built at home. Um, I built this about three years ago. It's this one here in the middle, right there. Um, I built it about uh, <clears throat> three years ago. Um, I only put two gigs of RAM in it. And now whenever I play uh, Civilization V, um, it seems to be pretty much sucking it dry. I'm running at almost 9.12 right now, but during the game, it runs at about uh, 1 point, I think it was like 1.85 gigs. So I got right here, I got uh, these from a local computer store around here. I didn't really feel like waiting for it. These are uh, uh, DDR2 PC 6500, um, 2 gigs a stick, so that'll increase it up to 6 gigs total and I shouldn't have any more problems. Um, I have the AMD Black Box Edition that runs at over three gigs, a, uh, at over three gigahertz, or sorry, three megahertz. Um, and I never really have a problem with it. Whenever I was running Civilization Five, the CPU was only running at about twenty percent. So um, I think this is where my bottleneck is. All right. Alright, so next I'm just going to show you a little benchmark um, of how fast it takes it to start up. So it's off now and I'm just going to turn it on. Uh, I just wanted to see how long it uh, takes to turn on and then see what the improvement is after I install the RAM. Um, if you want to go ahead and fast forward through this, um, I will actually show me installing the RAM. So we're just gonna wait here and see if it starts to you know take too long. I'm probably just gonna edit this part out. <clears throat> we'll see though. Just in case you're wondering, um, I do have three PCs here. I have Windows Server installed on the one on the far left and the far right. Um, so that's what that is, just in case you were wondering. Okay, so we just booted into uh, the welcome screen. Log on. And it probably takes another two or three minutes before I can actually start using the computer from here. <clears throat> but in the uh, case for saving time, I'm probably probably not going to keep this in here. Okay. Okay, so what I was running in there before were uh, these uh, one gig sticks from NVIDIA. They are uh, PC6400, or, you know... Um, these are PC6400 too, um, but they're two gig sticks. And I took these out because I'm going to swap these out and put these in the far bays and put those two in the first bays. Um, my motherboard is the uh, Asus M2N SLI. It's upgradable to eight gigs, but I'm only going to put six in here for now. If I think I need it more in the future, then I'll go ahead and upgrade these. These are one gig sticks to two gig sticks. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to put these in, try to do it one handed and not waste too much time so you can still see for people who may not know there's these two clips on each well, There's these two clips there on each side, if you can see that or not. There's one there, two there, well I guess four clips on each side, but all you have to do is line this up and stick it into the slot intended. And press down on it until you feel a click on each side. Try to get some light in here. All right, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to have to show you the video after I get them in. 
Okay, so I finally got them in there. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bitch with the uh, the cooling fins on the outside. It doesn't make for much room to work around in there. Um, but I did get it in there. Hopefully, it doesn't overheat. Hopefully, the, the, you know, there's still enough space between the chips and the uh, the heat shields to uh, do what they need to do. So I'm just going to get this cover put back on and then uh, plug it back in and we'll see what it does. See if it helped out much. I don't see why it wouldn't. I know it's the, uh, I know it's the correct stuff. It's the correct brand. We'll see. Alright, so I just, uh, I just turned it back on, plugged it in, turned it back on. You see the screen hasn't even woken yet. Hasn't even went into the, uh, there we go, we're in the BIOS right there. Well, we're not in the BIOS, but the BIOS screen. Past post. So I'm assuming everything's working fine within them. Loading windows. Let's see how long it takes this time. Really hoping that this helps the helps the PC start up quicker. All right, we got the welcome screen. There we go. Let's watch all this stuff load up. Alt, delete. Isn't that funny how that works? You see there now, it's using, okay, far less, just so I can go at SIP 1.66. It's using about 1.3, 1.2 gigs. Um, but it definitely sees 100% of the memory, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. We're only utilizing 23% of the physical memory versus 45, which for me that that's that's amazing. I'm happy with that. Um, it tells me that all the RAM is actually working. So I guess time will tell. And you see we're still loading stuff up here. Um, but yeah, I'll let you. Uh, Comment, rate, subscribe, um, let me know how, what you think, what I should do, and uh, thanks.